Hi! This instructional video is about triangles and circles that circumscribes or inscribes each other. Let's start with a simple triangle. Here's one that appears to be an acute triangle. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find an angle bisector for each of those vertices. Remember what that is? You may have learned this before you started algebra. Or maybe if you're in geometry right now, you might have done a little review at the beginning of the school year. If you're given two rays that are connected at an endpoint called a vertex, I'm not exactly sure what angle, what degree this is, but you can draw an exact line that will go through the middle of the two lines, creating two equal angles. To do that, we use the old trick of using the compass. Using the pivot point of the compass at the vertex, I make a note of one fixed distance that's congruent to the other ray. Now I'm going to use each of those as a pivot point to draw an arc where these two arcs, if they were to in intersect, and if I draw a line from that point of intersection of the two arcs to the vertex, what I have actually will become the angle bisector, like that, where the angle that is formed is going to be congruent to the other side, and this is called angle bisector. So we did that before. We're going to use it to determine where the three angle bisectors intersect. So here we go. Let's take a look at this one. I'm going to use the same compass, and I'm going to indicate a fixed point, which is going to be congruent to the other ray, and I'm going to use that as a pivot point to create an arc, and where the other arc intersects is the point in which, if I draw a line to the vertex, it's going to be it's going to become the angle bisector. So, mm, there it is. It's a little bit off. Okay, so this angle right here is congruent to the other angle. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one and that one as well and see what happens. So I have three angle bisectors, and these three angle bisectors are intersecting at this point. And that point is called congruency or concurrency of angle bisector of a triangle. This is actually a theorem called concurrency of angle bisector of a, th of a triangle. And where the three angle bisectors intersect, that point is considered an in-center. In-center is the point of the intersection where the three concurrent three angle bisectors come together. And the distance from the in-center to the tangent, well, here, before I blabber on, let me draw a circle using that as a center. The word center implies that there's a circle there somewhere. So let's draw a circle. So, there's the in-center, there's a point of tangency, <laughs> we kind of overlap, but, <laughs> well, well, <laughs> and here's the point of tangency, and here's a point, point of tangency somewhere there, and if I were to draw a line, tangent means the line that you draw from the center to the point of, point of uh, intersection of the circumference of a circle is 9 degrees, same as here. That's perpendicular, and same as there. That's perpendicular. And that distance from the center to the point of tangent is actually equal distance. Equal distance to each other. And that, in fact, becomes 
the radius of the circle that's inscribed inside this triangle using the technique of angle bisector where the three angle bisectors come together produces the end center from which the distance from the center to the tangent point of a circumference and the side of a triangle it becomes the radius all right